So the Harab Curl. We're going to anchor our feet into something. You can use a barbell, you can use this, you can use a strap on the bench. I've just got my feet in the stall bars right now. And the Harab Curl is different to the Nordic Curl. With the Harab Curl, we're gonna hinge from the hips straight away. It's a bit of a hamstring exercise. So we're gonna lean forward as far as you possibly can. Once you feel that pull in the hamstrings, you're gonna hinge at the hips and try to keep a neutral spine. So keep that natural curve in your lower back all the way down. So I go forward. Touch and then pulling back up to the top. As you start to progress or to progress the movement, you want to start to take the hips as far forward as you can. I really struggle with this one, but you take the hips as far forward as you can, then you go down. To progress even further, what you can do is go forward as far as you can, hinge at the hips, come down, track along the floor as far as you can, come back, and then back up.